expendable. The, the police officers are not expendable. They are human beings that are doing a job every single day to try to keep everyone in this community safe. And that breaking news right now this morning, a JSO officer is in the hospital in critical condition. Doctors are treating him for a gunshot wound to the face. Now, as far as how this happened, here's what we know right now. Sheriff TK Waters, you heard briefed us just last night about a suspicious driver at Baptist Medical Center South. And when patrols approached that driver, they say he opened fire. Five JSO officers returned fire, killing him. Now, this all happened around 930 last night at Baptist South here, right off of Old St. Augustine Road. That officer is taken by helicopter then to downtown Jacksonville at UF Health, where he is now in critical condition. Sheriff TK Waters says the gunman fired one shot hitting that officer. And now we have uh, Action News Jack's Law and Safety Expert Dale Carson on the phone with us right now. And Dale has years and years of experience as an officer. Uh, Dale, what does transparency, I think, have to play in this role when it comes to JSO explaining what happened last night? Well, we want to make certain that the shooting was justified from the police side. But, of course, their mission is to protect and serve. And part of that service puts them constantly in harm's way. Uh, frankly, human behavior is not predictable. I mean, we know about behavior. We know that past behavior is important in determining what people do in the future. But in a circumstance like this, you have no idea what that individual intends. And why transparency is important from the public side is that someone knows what's going on with this individual. He's connected to the community in some way, and that would merit a phone call from that group of people who know about him to law enforcement saying this person's a danger to himself and others you need to be aware of. Dale, you and I have talked about negotiating with suspects in the past. One of the things that I heard when listening to the police briefing was at one point, the suspect did tell officers, shoot me. Uh, they were trying to stop the person, this, this suspicious car and the driver from getting close to the entryway to the doors of this hospital. That was very important to them. But at some point, the officers did approach the car, got too close, and that's when he opened fire. What goes into the minds of trying to stop a driver, trying to stop a suspicious car like this? Well, again, we, particularly when you approach a car in the field, you don't know what's inside the car or what's going on with the people in the car, in this case, the person. And so you have to be very cautious, but there are a number of police units on the scene. They're trying to stop the car. They don't know that he intends to shoot an officer, so they have to behave with some restraint. But then when he actually fires and hits an officer, all bets are off, essentially. And the officers are there to protect not only themselves, but the people in the hospital, the institution that this occurred at. So the result is a lot of frustration and anger and fear happen suddenly, and police react to that. But again, I must express the idea that, that someone in the community knew that this individual was having trouble coping. And that's important to let law enforcement know because it's transparency both ways. The public needs to feel very comfortable with police, and these things do not make that happen in our community this comfort level between law enforcement and civilians and civilians and law enforcement. And that's the ultimate goal to serve and protect because the public has to keep law enforcement informed about what's going on in the general population. Of course, as Sheriff TK Waters was trying to express, of course, law enforcement, they want to go home to their families as well. And at some point, uh, it appears that this person may have wanted to die suicide by cop is what this looks like. And in your training, your years of experience, and especially when you were out there, of course, Dale, you were trying to get home to your family as well. And again, you and I have worked on negotiation situations together. And it's such a, a very sensitive topic, very, and you have to take specific steps too as an officer and working together as a team.